The man, the myth, the legend, Klaus Toast is in. With two hounds, 30 balloons, and a golem. Sure. This video is sponsored by Marvel Strike Force. Marvel Strike Force is a dynamic squad-based RPG that brings the Marvel Universe to life, where players assemble powerful teams of Marvel heroes and villains to battle iconic enemies in epic combat with endless team combinations and strategic gameplay. Use my link in the description or scan this QR code to download the game for free and unlock characters for free. Marvel Strike Force is a free mobile squad RPG that allows you to battle with your favorite team of superheroes and even villains in a fight to save the universe against threats like Doctor Doom and Apocalypse. If you're a new player, you can unlock up to 17 new characters in your first 30 days of playing, including Spider-Man, Deadpool, Thor, Captain America, and even more. Along with campaigns, Blitz, and Arena, there's also Alliance War, a massive weekly alliance battle, raids, and Cosmic Crucible where you'll go head-to-head -head against other players in a tournament. They are doing free character giveaways here in November. New characters are constantly being released, and you can also unlock other characters in costumes for Marvel movies, TV shows, comics and more just like the recent release of blade and his team of night stalkers and this month there's a brand new game mode called battle world battle world is an exciting new pve mode where you can participate alongside your alliance if you're a new or returning player be on the lookout for awesome rewards to celebrate battle world's launch but there's even more to celebrate the spooky season players can redeem the code halloween to get their free 100 shards for zombie iron man 600 000 gold and 480 l2 trading modules don't forget to use my link or Scan my QR code to download the game. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's bright, it's early, the sun is shining on my face, and we got clashing occurring today. Navi versus TTP Esports. Today is day one of the Snapdragon playoffs. The finals. The final two days. And we got eight teams left. Double elimination bracket. And it's going to be a whole lot of fun. This might be the actual last... Town Hall 16 tournament with money on the line. Let's see. Let's see. We got Sky Res from TTP going in with some uh, Root Riders. King for the Town Hall. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy with his abilities. Root Riders, Grand Ward, Druids from the top side of the base. Cash money. Cool, cool, cool. They're all going to go inside. Queen pops ability, Magic Mirror, Healer Puppet. Freeze upon the Monolith. Sure. Sure. Root Riders still making their way downtown. We still got a Warden ability. We got an Overgrowth as well. And we're not using the Overgrowth for the Town Hall. Wow. That's refreshing. Queens are still alive. They can go take out that single. Maybe. Maybe. If we give a spell, we do. Invis inbound. Overgrowth is in for... What was it? A Poison Tower? And some other key defenses. Ricochet Cannon, Scattershot, another Inferno Tower. Sure, it's going to help take off the damage from our main group of units here as they work their way around. We're actually going to try to keep this Queen alive. I don't know if that was the right move. Uh, maybe. Hold on. Couple wall breaks. Rage and a freeze. Queen still vibing. A second overgrowth. Again, for that Inferno Tower. And for the Ricochet Cannon. As everybody else makes their way around. This is actually looking okay. Because the Royal Champion still has her ability. We still got a freeze spell. Sky Res. Looks like he's going to get it done. That Queen just vibing as well. She's going to get through the scatter shot here just in time before she dies. Woo. Barely. One HP in a dream. Pop the RC ability, got Valkyries from the Siege Barracks that are working their way around the outside of the base. They took out everything. Royal Champion can go get the Inferno Tower. Root Riders can go get the Ricochet Cannon. Free spell for bonus points, and it's going to be a 3-star for TTP Esports to kick off this match. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Let's see how Na'Vi are going to be able to respond. Gaku has the first attack for Na'Vi. He's got healers, and he's got Lalo. He's actually doing good old-fashioned Queen Charge Lalo. Alright, cool. Let's see it, Gaku. Flame Flinger right beside the Queen as she goes up toward the Town Hall. The Flame Flinger will be able to go toward the Inferno Tower. I like it. Supercharged Expo hits really hard. Queen barely hanging on without using any spells. And he's trying hard to be very efficient, not using any spells. Frozen Arrow will come in clutch now. Queen's okay. Timing could be really tricky here with the single target Inferno Tower and the CC troops. He uses an Invis spell to try to force her toward the single first. And I think that actually might have been really, really valuable. Alright, cool. Because I think if she walked down toward the storage and then cut back up toward the Town Hall, she probably would have done something silly like wake up the Town Hall, 
CC troops come out, and the Inferno's still alive, targeting her, and he would have had to use like 17 spells to keep her alive. So I think that actually worked out really well for him. King and Royal Champion on the top side of the base, getting some value with their abilities over there. That's all looking good. Royal Champion has the Rocket Spear, gonna be able to take out the enemy Royal Champion here in a second. We send some Headhunters for fun points. Because the Royal Champion is still not targeting her. She goes for the Scattershot first, finally locks on Queen. I wish uh, he would wall break her in. Oh well. Let's see what path she takes. Pop her ability. We're just going to focus on the Lalo, I guess. All right, maybe just use the rest of the spells with the Lalo, dude. I don't know. Queen actually picks a good wall to beat through. Picks the Junction Wall, fights the enemy Queen. She's going to get more value. Now, he used the Warden ability kind of late. He lost his uh, Lava Hound and a lot of balloons, not going to lie. Still has the Flame Flinger on the bottom. Still has a couple free spells to use. Skeleton spell to distract the Monolith for fun points as well. Queen hits the Tornado Trap. She's spinning in circles. Oh, nice. I didn't even notice we got webcams to look at. I think the last player, the first attacker, did not have his webcam turned on. But we can see Gaku. He's chilling down there. Got the uh, the jersey on. Double free spell on the bottom side of the base. Super minions out of the flame flinger. It's crushed. Queen charge Lalo. Gaku makes it look easy, man. Gaku makes it look easy. GG's to him on this one. Both teams are going to start with a triple. Very nice. Warden's still alive. Queen's still alive. She eliminated the core completely. And 40 seconds to spare. Just about. Nice attack right there. So we can see the finals today itself. Uh, the grand finals of this will be tomorrow. But this is like the finals event is today and tomorrow. War Man has Root Riders and Druids. TTP busting out all the Root Rider Druid attacks today. They mean business. They want to make some money before Town Hall 17 drops so they can gym it all. That's exactly what they're doing. So they can gym Town Hall 17 using Code Lex No specifically. Okay, that's what they're going to be doing. You should do the same. King ability, queen behind, she's chilling. Expo locks onto her. Siege barracks from the upper side of the base. We got root riders on the northwest. Cool. With the grand warden, they're gonna go toward the eagle, toward the inferno. We got some druids in behind for healing. No rage gem. Hot damn, he is alive. <laughs> no rage. We brought the healing tome and druids. Usually, if you bring druids behind the root riders, it's because you want to use a rage gem and you don't have as much healing, right? So it's kind of wild for him to use healing tome and druids but hey let's see if it works yeah, that does mean you get slightly less firepower we are going to overgrowth the town hall riskiest strat in the game right now since the root riders the valkyries all got nerfed overgrowthing the town hall is so sketchy freeze the ricochet cannon on the top side of the base things are starting to fizzle out royal champion is healthy though queen already used her ability once that overgrowth expires she might get sniped by the monolith just depends on how she steps here She's going to work her way around the left side of the base. Overgrowth expires, and we have a second one. We have a second one. He still has Root Riders alive. He still has one healer helping out. Which is actually making a big difference. The Spirit Fox continuously goes invisible. That Royal Champion is still at full health. This might actually just be crushed. It's sketchy. I don't like it. It's risky. But it's going to work. It's going to work. There's a freeze for the Town Hall. We got the Invis spell if we need it. We got the Champion ability. Did he just really just make the Town Hall invisible? What the troll? <laughs> he just made the Town Hall invisible. He said, told everybody to skip it. Champion goes back up with her Haste Vial. Takes it out. Grand Warden dies. Hold on. Gigabomb does not hit the Champion. She's got some distraction to take out the Mono. This got way too close at the end there. Woo! But, uh, hey. A triple's a triple. So, uh, GG. That was sketchy. Not gonna lie. But TTP are two for two. Can you clap? Yeah! <laughs> Look at that. So precious. So precious. Yada is in with some super bowlers. Lots of healers here. We got two ice golems. We got an apprentice warden. Royal champion has the seeking shield. Rocket spear ability. Jump spell. Four rages. Three freezes and an invis. Cool, 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 cool. We start with a warden walk from the upper side of the base. Flame flinger inbound. Got to get through the ego artillery nice and early. We got an uh, uh, E Titan to join forces with the super bolos as well. Yada down there laughing for some reason. Wonder what's so funny. Maybe he's on voice with his teammates. Actually, I think they said at World Championship that they don't even voice when they do these wars. Lol. They got no communication at all. 
Maybe they were lying. Who knows? We are just waiting. We are waiting. He's going to take forever to set up this warden lock. Goes with an aggressive rage to help out. Cool. What abilities does he even have on the warden? I didn't see. With super bowlers, I would assume eternal tome. But what's the other one? Uh, looks like rage gym, right? Unless I'm crazy. Rage gym, eternal tome. It's going to be interesting. Okay. Queen on the right side with the unicorn for once. For once, we're not seeing the frosty with the queen. How's he going to get that Inferno Tower? That might kill his healers. That's actually really interesting. Well, the jump spell will give him access. A good freeze and a warden ability here might help him out. The king trying to beat on a wall to get the enemy queen, but once queen takes her out, he goes back into the core. Ice Golem slowing us down a little bit. Queen on the outside of the base. She's vibing. Flame Flinger still getting decent value here. Going to be able to pick up that ricochet cannon on the top side of the base. Super Bowlers are bowlerin'. King ability in the core, gonna come clutch, come in clutch, nice. And we're still holding on to the warden ability. Pop it right there as everybody starts to split up. King goes down south, bowlers go up north. Healers are trying to stay with the bowlers. Warden goes back up to help them. That's good news. Rage the world champion, the queen on the bottom side of the base. Toward the ricochet cannon. Bowlers, we're gonna try to keep those healers alive with the invis spell. I don't know if it was worth it. It probably doesn't matter, this should be crushed anyway, right? Uh, maybe it's actually kind of closer than I thought. Eh. Bro, champion has the spirit fox, but the spirit fox is dead. Warden uh, got locked onto by the expo. We're gonna freeze it. Champion is low on HP points. Can the queen tank the expo? Yes, that's actually such such good news. We're low on time, but I think it's gonna work out just barely. Just barely, bro. This was a little sketchy as well. But it works out. Royal Champion on 1 HP, Grand Warden on 1 HP, only 8 seconds to spare, but that's a 3 star, and we're all tied up. TTP with their next one. We got two E Titans. And that's it, okay. It's an E Titan smash, but we're pretty light on the E Titans. Only two, not even three. Hey, Rambo, what are you doing here? Get out. Come on. Hold on, I'm gonna get my dog out of here. He comes in here and tries to eat the bunny food. Here we go. Siege Barracks from the right side of the base. Queen, Grand Warden, Druid, E-Titan, Ice Golem, Wall Breaker, Super Barbarian, Tough Funnel. Sure. Oh, I missed a fireball, didn't I? Dang it! Because I had to kick the dog out of the room. Oh well, looks like a pretty simple fireball just to set things up. We take out the Eagle Artillery now. A couple good wall breaks. We got a jump spell to get all the way through the base. Some poison towers might slow us down a little bit. Freeze the monolith. That's all fine. Next rage. Rocket balloon super minions out of the defensive uh, clan castle. Royal champion's already in from the upper side of the base. Probably got spiky balls and earthquake boots on the king. I would hope so. I would hope so. Pop it right now. Oh yeah. Spiky ball hits the town hall. It hits so many things, man. It's good news. Rage the King right there. Royal Champion helping out as well. Queen, uh, actually the E-Titans went and sniped the Town Hall. Warden and Druids helping them out, but they're still going to die. Because so much damage on the left side of the base. We got the Queen at full health. We got the Grand Warden with the Druid on the bottom side, chilling. Trying to get that Ricochet Cannon down as the Druid turns into a bear. Queen on the other Ricochet Cannon working on that. Royal Champion still has her ability. Still has the Spirit Fox going invisible. We got to fight the Barbarian King here in a second. But I think with these hero abilities, we're going to be okay. Queen pops her ability. Royal Champion can pop hers here in a second. Freeze the Xbox, because why the heck not? Pop the RC ability. Is it a uh, Hog Puppet and Rocket Spear? We're starting to see that combo more and more now, actually. A lot of these pros are preferring that combo. Rocket Spear, and instead of the Seeking Shield, use the Hog Puppet. And in a lot of situations, the Hog Puppet, even with the low level Hogs, is actually getting more value than the Seeking Shield. GG. Plenty of time left over on this one, and a third triple for TTP Esports. Uh, fireball to get some big old ball value. Can I say that? I hope so. Here we go. Giant, queen, baby dragon, chilling on the bottom side of the base. Nice easy first wall break. Baby dragon hit, takes a seeking air mind to the face. We got some balloons for the whistle tower. 
queen hopefully has a magic mirror and maybe a healer puppet i don't know there goes her ability yep that's exactly what she has she'll go inside get the inferno tower hopefully get the enemy champion as well we're even gonna go with an invis uh, some rocket balloons on the left probably trying to set up a fireball here the main queen gets targeted first unfortunate that she goes down but the clone queens still get the value that we need them to still got five invis three earthquake he's gonna try to fireball like the, the core for sure Ooh. Ooh, ooh, spicy. Ooh! Right on top of the town hall, bro. Fireball actually lands on the town hall. <laughs> One more earthquake could have taken out both scatter shots. <laughs> but oh well. Oh well. He's gonna save the rest of the spells to help the king, the warden here. <laughs> the rocket balloons. There he goes, Royal Champion from the upper left side of the base. Cool. King on the left, taking a lot of damage from the Ricochet Cannon. Here goes a Battle Blimp from the upper side. Finding a lot of traps, but we get over the Monolith. Pop the Blimp. Yes, sir. Champion's going to the core. Now, we already popped her ability, but she snipes the left scatter shot. The Monolith stayed up. She's going for the Town Hall. We invis her. She gets the Town Hall. Can she pick up the other scatter shot, too? Spirit Fox goes invisible. Go, go, go. We drop another freeze as well. We want that scatter shot to go down. Ooh. It might not. Expose lock on. Come on. One more shot. Yes, the spirit fox finished off the scatter shot. Let's go. Rocket balloons on every single defense, and this is crushed. An extra rage for bonus points. Two freezes to swag. Kazuma gonna get it done. Freeze the barbarian king. And this base is wrecked. Absolutely deleted. Look at him staring into the camera there, man. He looked like he was looking into my soul. Both teams got nine stars. Bunch. Has a bunch of healers. And some E-Titans. Just two of them again. Just like their last attack. Cool, cool, cool. We got... Uh, da, 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 three Druids and an Apprentice Warden. Sure. Gonna let Warden do his thing on the right side of the base here. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Grand Warden gonna pick up the e gal Artillery. Siege Barracks from the bottom side of the base. Super Barb on the outside. All pretty classic stuff. Just setting up this little E-Titan push. Do we need to get the Expo down before we start? Or are we just going to start like right now? I feel like you dropped the Siege Barracks just a little too early. TBH on us. Those P.E.K.K.A.s are going to die. Because he dropped the Siege Barracks too early. Now we finally start. He needed that Expo to go down. Sure. Ice Golem is in. Some balloons to pull the traps. The wall break looks good. Valkyries out of the Siege Barracks are also out early and gonna die early. So, a little bit improper on the timing there. Do we need to freeze that Inferno Tower? Ooh, just in time to keep the Queen ability from going off. Wow. Wow. Jumpy Jump spell gets us all the way to the core. King very healthy, probably with the Earthquake Balls and the Spiky Boots. Here we go. Warden ability first. Save the king ability for a little bit later. 1E Titan path to the bottom side of the base. Where are we going to send the champion? It's going to be important. I feel like this attack's looking sketchy. Not going to lie. Because we have no flanking army. Because the siege barracks all died early. All the siege barracks troops. There's another rage. That's our last rage. King ability does do a lot of damage here. But we lost all the healers. We lost both the E Titans. Royal Champion's in on the right side of the base. Queen gonna have to go to her ability, man. I don't Is anybody even gonna go get this town hall? Royal Champion straight into Tesla Farm. Skelly traps. Oh, gosh. Queen goes through the wall break. She's not going for the town hall just yet. Oh. Come on. Come on. Nobody wants the town hall. Champion pops her ability. Rocket. Ricochet Cannon is doing so much damage to her. And the Fox. The Druid's trying to keep her alive. Freeze the Town Hall. Grand Warden Raid Shim coming in clutch. So maybe Queen can take it out. Come on, 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 come on. Ooh. Warden finished it off. Champion's just going to go right into the Giga Poison, though. And she'd have to fight the King. And we're out of time. This is going to be the first fail of the match. R.I.P. R.I.P. 
I think a lot of it stems from that siege barracks, man. If you deploy the siege barracks 10 or 15 seconds later, they could have been alive on the left side of the base here and taken out most of these buildings that are still up. <laughs> Big rip. It's an 85%. But a lot of cool stuff. I can say that. A lot of cool stuff coming. Stars with super witches. He's back to the super witches. Alright. The super witches have treated him well at Town Hall 16. Warden walk left side of the base with a frosty. Nice. Nice. Finds a Tesla right away. Alright, alright. No big deal. We're being patient. Cool. Cool. A little fireball action straight to the expos. There's just one expo and the uh, Inferno Tower. And uh, the champion took all that out. Now we can get started. Now we can get started with the real soup. The witches. Gonna walk down toward the eagle. We're gonna, we're gonna go get the town hall last. Okay. Invis the Grand Warnings. The Ricochet Cannon was about to send him to the Shadow Realm. Good call there. Why is he not deploying the queen with them? The queen could be helping out so much. Is this one of those attacks where he wants queen to stay on the outside? I don't know if these super witches can reach that Tesla. It's like two or three tiles deep. They might skip it. There goes the queen on the bottom side of the base. She is indeed on the outside. Oh, dude. Star's got a fresh haircut, dude. Do you guys see that? Looks like he got a little, tiny little low fade around his ears. Let's go. counting. Great moment and more to come. Lexnos Picasso, Lexnos dancing mochi. Hey yo, thank you so much for the support. Laser Girl OP over on Twitch. 50 months. Hey yo, thank you, thank you, thank you. The Grand Warden died. Did we lose a Super Witch or two as well? This is looking rough. This is looking rough for stars. Earthquake boots open up everything to the core that will really just give us access to the mana. We only got one Super Witch alive, no Grand Warden. No Apprentice Warden either. He's dead as heck, too. Uh, we dropped the jump spell for the Queen, and she's not even going to take it. So he swags the jump spell as well. Not looking great for stars. Not looking great. We got to try to figure out if we can save the Town Hall, even. They got a defense, but uh, TTP is about to get a defense, too. Since the champion here, I think she should pass to the Town Hall. He's going to try to get that... Archer Tower up there, raise the champion, pop her ability. She better ignore the king. Rocket Spear, get the scatter shot, get the town hall. Come on, come on, come on. We don't have an invis. We don't have an invis. We don't have a freeze. We don't have a freeze. We don't have a spear fox. Go, 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 go. One more shot. Just as she goes down, her last rocket spear takes the town hall. Now, can we beat the 85% that TTP got? Uh, he actually might not. No way, bro. Super Witch picks up that building for 84. And he's going to finish at 84. Navi are down by a building. Going into the final round of attacks. Doyer? 19? What are those Roman numerals doing? I don't know. In with the final attack for TTP Esports. A, uh, a triple here actually gets them the win. And sends Navi to the lower bracket. And we're going in with the old school hybrid. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright. Ooh, that wall breaker died kind of early. Didn't quite hit the junction like he wanted. Next wall break goes to a Tesla. Yada's base. Navi are hoping for a defense here. There goes the siege barracks from the bottom side. Healers got locked on too. That's going to cost us a freeze early. Monolith locks onto the queen. King already deployed. Hybrid is in. Invis the queen. He's having to use a lot of spells early. That's not ideal. Means we'll have less spells for the back end of the base. Royal Champion is in with the hybrid. Rocket Balloons, Super Minions coming on out. Rage the Queen once more. She won't be able to reach the Town Hall unless uh, she picks a magical wall to beat through. And even then, it might take her quite a while. Why are we not using the Warden ability? He's trying to double heal first. Save the Warden ability for later. Super Hog Riders out of the Siege Barracks. A lot of these units in the middle are low on HP. We're going to Rage. Maybe saving the Warden ability was a good, good thing. He's going to be able to pop it here as we make our way to the Town Hall. Finally. Finally pops it. We got Healing Tome in there. We'll get the Town Hall. But for him, really, this is triple or lose. You got to assume Klaus will triple. So this is triple for the win for his team. He used all of his abilities. He used all of his spells. The Royal Champion goes down. 
The Super Hogs, though, trying to pick up that left side Inferno Tower. They don't get it. They don't get it. Look at that single target Inferno Tower literally on one HP. Queen is beating on one of the stupidest walls I've ever seen. She's going to be stuck in that compartment. Oh, one Super Rider does get through that left side Inferno. The Warden is still doing a lot of damage here. Oh, dude, he might get lucky and still get this. It might just come down to time. Queen's going to have to beat through one more wall. The Wizards might all die to the cannon. No, they're going to take it out. The Warden doing so much damage right now. He's helping because time, I think, is the only enemy. Time is the only thing that could save Na'Vi right now. 35 seconds. Queen just has to get through one wall. And with the Warden helping to shoot the wall, doing extra damage, I think he's going to get it. I think he's going to get it. And Na'Vi are going to end up having to make a lower bracket run. Unless there's a Skelly Trap. Unless there's a Skelly Trap. That's the only thing that can stop this. 15, 14, 13, 98%. 99, no Skelly Trap. And with 7 seconds to spare, TTP Esports win the match. The man, the myth, the legend, Klaus Toast is in with two hounds, 30 balloons, and a golem. Sure. Let's see if he can do it. <clears throat> Quakey Quake spell, lightnings are in. It's a good old-fashioned Zap Lalo. All right. Klaus attacking from his bed. Golem, king, queen, all in from the upper side of the base. Sure. Sure. <clears throat> we'll make our way toward the Ego Artillery for this little hero dive. Easy baby drag funnel on the other side of the base. It's all looking good. It's all looking good. Log launcher to go join the fight. Get us to the Inferno Tower, maybe even all the way to the Monolith. We'll see. Golem's already dead as heck. Wallbreak gives King access to the right side here. Let's see what abilities does the King have. Earthquake, Balls, Spiky Boots. Royal Champion's in on the right side of the base with a delayed Ice Golem. Interesting. Queen has to pop ability early. Monolith does go down to the Log Launcher, which is good news. Here come the CC troops. Yeti's out of the Log Launcher. One Rocket Balloon pulls a lot of traps. Two Super Miners in the defensive Clan Castle. It's kind of a troll, but they actually they're going to completely annihilate his Queens. Oh! One more Super Miner. And the, it, the last queen is a clone queen. Down she goes. Royal Champion pops her ability. Look at this hero dive value, man. Jeez. The Lalo just has to get one little strip of the base. And she's still going for the town hall. She actually gets it. She actually gets it, bro. He could have done the Lalo from the left side of the base and ignored the Giga Inferno, Giga uh, Poison, Giga Bomb. Pops the Warren ability. He should have done the Lalo from the left side of the base. <laughs> Can he get past that Giga Poison before the Warren ability wears off? Come on. Come on. Come on. Eh, close enough. Poison spell preemptively deployed on the left side of the base. He completely misses the champion, though, as she jumps to the left. Tornado trap spinning over there. Healers from the Healer Puppet are still alive. They're going to try to go help out, what, headhunters? Lol, this is so crushed. This is so crushed. Klaus gets it done. And it's just one fail from Na'Vi that sends him to the lower bracket. Rip. That's the Town Hall 16 meta for you. Klaus instantly turns off his camera. He's going to go take a nap before their lower bracket match. Plenty of time for cleanup here. Minions to get the buildings in the middle. Warden and Balloons getting everything on the outer side of the base. Two minions trying to fight the best air defense in the game, the Barbarian King, but you really don't have to take him out. Just need all the buildings. GG's to Mr. Klaus, though. That was a beautiful plan, and it worked out flawlessly. Champion getting all the way to the Town Hall is actually just kind of cracked. Kind of cracked. Nice attack from Klaus, but Navi do lose this match by one building, and we're going to see them in the lower bracket later. Rip.